Dental Care Course Objectives Dental care is the maintenance of healthy teeth and it includes Oral Hygiene Dentistry Oral Surgery Oral Hygiene Oral hygiene is the practice of keeping one's mouth clean and free of disease. It also reduces the other problems like bad breath, by regular brushing and cleaning between the teeth. It is important that oral hygiene be carried out on a regular basis to enable prevention of dental disease. Click on each tooth icon to learn more. Brushing. Always use a soft bristled toothbrush. Use anti-cavity fluoride toothpaste. Hold toothbrush at a 45 degree angle at the gum line, brushing in a circular motion. This sweeps plaque out of the gingival pocket. Brush teeth for a minimum of 2 minutes at least twice a day. Brush gums and tongue along with your teeth. Don't brush too hard because this can cause gingival gum recession. Flossing. There are three different types of flosses. Unwaxed floss, waxed floss, and polytetrafluorothylene. Unwaxed floss. Unbound nylon filaments that spread across the tooth. Plaque and debris get trapped for easy removal. Waxed floss. Less susceptible to tearing or shredding when used between tight contacts or areas with overhanging restorations. Polytetrafluorothylene. Slides easily through tight contacts and does not fray. Rinsing Regular rinses with a good mouthwash helps to keep your mouth clean, fresh and germ-free. Daily rinses must be alcohol-free they cause dryness of oral mucosa. Fluoride rinses helps to boost the strength of newly erupted teeth. Interdental brushing The steps to use an interdental brush are Identify the size required, the largest size that will fit without force is ideal. Often more than one size is required in the mouth. Insert the bristles into the interdental space at a 90 degree angle. Move the brush back and forth between the teeth. Rinse under water to remove debris when necessary. Rinse with warm soapy water once complete, and store in a clean dry area. Dentistry Dentistry is the diagnosis and treatment of diseases and disorders of the teeth and gums, particularly the repair and extraction of teeth and the insertion of artificial ones. There are four types of dentistry. Operative dentistry, pediatric dentistry, preventive dentistry, and prosthetic dentistry. Oral surgery. Extractions of decayed teeth that cannot be restored. Surgical removal of impacted teeth. Extraction of non-vital teeth. Preprosthetic surgery to smooth and contour the alveolar ridge. Removal of teeth for orthodontic treatment. Removal of root fragments. Treatment of fractures of the mandible or maxilla. Common dental issues. Drag each tooth icon to see to learn more. Cavities. One in four adults has an untreated cavity, and according to the CDC, nearly every adult will have tooth decay at some point. You might have a cavity if you experience pain, food gets caught in your tooth, your tooth feels rough to your tongue or it hurts to eat something cold or sweet. darkened tooth. There are two reasons your tooth may change color after trauma, it's either trying to protect the nerve or it's dying. If it's protecting the nerve, your tooth may look a little darker than the ones next to it. If it changes colors like a bruise from pink to gray, this means your tooth is most likely dead. Periodontitis. Periodontitis is a gum disease which causes the tooth loss in adults. Although you may not be aware of the gum disease in your mouth, abscesses can develop which usually painful. Symptoms include bleeding, swollen gums, 
persistent bad breath or bad taste, loose permanent teeth and a change in bite. Thank you.